So since a lot of what I do is political on this site, let's talk about libertarianism for a second as you guys all watch these videos. And if you could, I'd like you to leave me a comment or two about it, because I think there's a point to be made here. If, when, when I was very young, uh, people used to walk up and down the Hall of Fame lane. At that time, it was Fulton Road, dating myself a bit there. And um, people would sometimes get rowdy or whatever. I remember my dad saying, that's a good place to get shot. It really wasn't that bad. But as the years progressed, and of course they moved it downtown, then at some point it seemed like all partying was grounds to get someone arrested or otherwise uh, harassed by the police. Yeah, there's open containers. Yeah, there might be some underage kid having a beer before his favorite football star comes down the road. Might just be using the Hall of Fame as an excuse to have said beer. But, might not even know anything about football. But it wasn't that big of a deal. However, the police, uh, for a while, were over-policing. You guys will remember in 2011, I had quite a problem with the uh, aerial surveillance. With not ridiculous helicopters. People in the city are freaking starving, and an idiot had helicopters in the sky. Uh, thankfully, the new mayor has gotten away from that. So, what did I just show you down there? Whoops, I'm gonna... What did I just show you? Me getting run over by a freaking car. Um, what have I just shown you? Well, I've shown you in theory, and in practice, that uh, libertarianism and leaving people do what they want to do within reason is a lot better for everyone involved, including, uh, including commerce. Because, unless it's my imagination, I paid for the couple drinks that I had today. Thank you. I paid for the couple drinks that I had today. I don't know. I saw a lot of people partying up and down the road. Yeah, the cops were there. We don't want the place bombed. And if some idiot does show up, we want to know that the police are going to be there to do something about it quickly. That's fine. But, did you see? But it was getting along. Oh, there was a little bit of a, a scuffle in the mosh pit for a second. And it ended with a bro hug. That would have happened if it was, even if it wasn't Hall of Fame. So we'll factor that out. What's the harm? Oh, open containers on the road. Forever it was banned in Canton. What's the result? What, the death, the shooting, the horror that was preached to us? No. It's people having a good time. Yeah, I caught the odor of pot a time or two. You know what? Hats off to the Canton police. They're leaving people alone unless they're overly blatant and stupid about something. And I think, in essence, that's what, uh, that's what we need to see more of. It's time for us to get away from this belief that people being allowed to do what they want is somehow going to be a harm to everybody just because their particular lifestyle may be different from others. I'm a Christian. I also like to have a good beer. Is that mutually exclusive? I don't think so. But it doesn't matter if you have that beer on the open street or if you have that beer in your house. It doesn't matter what day it is you do it. Super Bowl Sunday, Hall of Fame, doesn't matter. What matters is how you act on a beer in general. The overreaching message here being that letting people do what they want is not necessarily the detriment that we've been told it was. Good night, friends. God bless.